Hello students. I would like to walk you through module 1 on this little introduction video. On module 1, you have the introduction, learning objectives, what is due on this module. Make sure you complete all this listed here for each module. You need to complete all these labs, exam questions, and discussion board questions to get full credits. I'm going to scroll all the way down and show you how to access the lab sim. To get started with working on this module, make sure you click to get started. Once you click to get started, you will see the different modules that objectives that you need to complete for this module. So I'm going to go ahead and pick randomly pick one of the modules. I will, re I will always recommend start from the first one and keep following the uh, order we I have it on here. So let's go back to hardware basics. And I'm going to show you how to launch the lecture videos, launch lessons, exams and labs. So let's try the first video. Once you click on the first video it should open up a second tab. If this didn't happen make sure you don't have any pop-up blockers. If you're using the Chrome browser you can click on the settings and go all to the advanced options, go to your privacy settings Privacy settings. Privacy settings, click content settings and scroll until you find the pop ups. Manage exceptions. Make sure you have HTTPS, eLearning.kctcs or edu allow. Also, cdn.testout.com allowed so these will not pop block as bad purpose make sure they are allowed okay. close back so go to the second window that open and click launch this should take you to the test out website once you're on the test out website click launch test out this should directly take you to the test out video lecture videos. Okay, once you click play, it should start playing the lecture videos. A few other things I want to point out here. If you want to keep working on the rest of the module, you don't have to go back to Blackboard and click on each one of these links. You can click on this little button up here and go back to the next video. Or read the facts. Or work on a lab once you finish watching the videos. Okay, you can start labs. These are simula simulated labs. Once they load, you can drag and drop to work on on a specific lab. Again, if the if the tabs didn't open, which means you have a pop-up blocker, make sure you block the pop-up blocker. Uh, quick demonstration here: you can drag a cable, drag them to a correct port, and this is how you work on the labs. So I'm going to close this back. Let's go back to the home tab on Lab Sim. Okay. It should show your class that you're enrolled in for this semester. Okay, I have two classes I'm teaching, 111 and 160. If you're on 111 class, you should see that class. And if you're on 160, you should see the second class. If you go to My Product, you should see the Test Out PC Pro. That's what we're looking using for 111 class. Test Out Network Pro for 160 class. Again, you can go back here and work, start keep working on labs in here, or you can go to Blackboard. It's easier to stay here and keep working instead of going back and forth to the blackboard because once you finish here your grades will automatically transfer to blackboard so you don't have to keep going back and forth so I'm going to close this window and go back to blackboard and once you finish working on all these different activities you can go back to module 1 and make sure you complete the discussion board questions you have to first answer the discussion board create a new thread before you see the other students answers. Once you go all the way down on the discussions, read the questions, create a new thread, and then make sure you answer to the first discussion questions. Okay. Subject, module one discussion question, and you answer. Once you finish answering your question, you can click submit. Then you should be able to see the other students post. 
Also make sure you remove to at least to reply to one of the other students post to get full credit. If you have any questions, make sure you post your questions on Ask Your Professor Discussion Forum, which will benefit the other students if they have the same questions. So before you email me, always make sure to post your question on here, Ask Your Professor Forum thread, and I will reply to your, to your uh, question. Or if some one of the other students know the answer, they should be able to reply to you as well. Okay. If you have any questions, make sure you post them here. Good luck for this semester.